Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headache stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious in panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Alright, hold on. Music might be just a little bit too loud. Maybe that's good. Alright, so, here we are today. Welcome, welcome to another quick little tutorial today. And um, what we got is a little sketch I drew up. And uh, it's just a wizard standing like an ocean side. And he's watching like a dragon fly by. And uh, it's just a nice little exercise in layers. So we have this all printed out, and again, like always, this design is available down below. And down below this video in the description, you'll find a link that says free airbrush stencil tutorials. Um, you can go on there, you'll find this image along with a lot of other images um, that you could use for free. Um, you'll also find the matching tutorials over on YouTube, just like you're watching right now. I have done previous ones with lots of other designs. So if you want to check those out, please go free to do so. Uh, but today we're going to be doing this one. And uh, we'll try to keep it pretty simple on the colors. I'm going to probably do just the black and gray kind of mix. Um, just so that you guys can follow along at home um, without getting too difficult. Obviously using this design, you could um, spend more time. You could add a lot more colors. You can make it in full color if you want to. Um, but just for today's video, we're going to just keep it uh, gray, black. And maybe a little bit of white at the end. Um, so yeah. So what's up everybody? What's up David Fiore? What's Jack Hobbs? How you doing? What's up Paul Tartala? What's up William Klein? What's up Jesus? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've already pre-cut most of this. I'm just going to finish cutting it up. All I've done is printed it out on pieces of paper. Just regular sheets of paper like this. I used a little bit of spray adhesive. In this case, I wanted a low tech, so I went with this Loctite spray adhesive, multi purpose, repositionable, dries permanent. It works really good. It doesn't stick the two papers together. We are using. Um, I'm going to grab it over here. We'll be using Createx colors like always, and pre reduced about 15. 10 to 15 percent um, and that's what we're going to be using today about 20 psi is the magic number um, you can feel free to play around with it a little bit and we're going to be spraying on this watercolor paper it's 140 pound 300 gsm paper right here i've shown this plenty of times it's a green bucket you can go down below you'll find a link you'll, you're good you're good all righty now we've got all that out of the way let me finish cutting this guy so what's up, Ricardo? Howdy, 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 how's it going? <laughs> what's up, Ben, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope everybody's had a good week. Oh yeah.
already. So cutting it up is always lots of fun. I hope you guys really enjoy watching me cut. It's always the best. And this hair, if you don't get it just perfect, I feel your pain. Believe me, I feel you right here. I feel this pain right here on this hair. It's all right. We're gonna try to get through it. Now, if you don't already know, we have a membership program around here that's called the Skull Squad. And if you're wondering how I got this design put together, um, there is a nice video that's up for the Skull Squad right now going through that process. And if you would like to watch that video, along with many other videos, previous videos, we got lots of instructional videos coming. Go ahead and click that join button down below. You can go ahead and check all those out. You know, so go ahead and go ahead and check it out now. As always, all those support buttons, all the links down below. It all helps the channel bring you more videos like this. So if you enjoy this video. Please, by all means, use those links. We really appreciate it. All the support. Uh, down below, you'll also find a link to the MikeSbrush.com, where you can find the handy dandy stencils you'll see me use in a lot of these videos. And I'm gonna keep saying it, because it's just gonna keep going. Any order over 40 bucks right now gets you a nice little scope cap. Like the ones we use here in these videos. Like this one here. Ooh, it looks beautiful. Looks nice. I've had this one going for a while. <sighs> cutting is a whole new art. It really is. You hate cutting. Yeah, I feel your pain. I feel your, I feel your pain. I feel it right here. Mmm, yeah. The cutting. It's so glorious, the cutting. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So let's get started here. And I'm not sure where to start, but I believe we want to start with these mountains. So we're going to peel back these mountain sides right here on each side. I like doing that for some reason. I like putting mountains on both sides. I like my ocean to be split with land. I don't know why. So there you go. Takes you longer to cut than to sketch. Yeah, I, I feel your pain. I feel it. So if I want to be an airbrush artist. You better learn to use an X-Acto knife. <laughs> Nobody tells you that at the beginning, huh? All right, so now we got the first two parts peeled off. We're going to go ahead and start laying in some colors. I'm going to start in with some gray. So we're going to load up gray. Um, I have a lot of choices of colors here. I mean airbrushes. So I think we're going to go with the Air Cobra. This is the Ammo by MIG Air Cobra. I've used this airbrush a whole lot of times. Just go ahead and, and uh, yeah, type it into Amazon or wherever your favorite retailer is. And uh, yeah, I love this airbrush. I've used it so many times. Oh, oh, one thing I did forget to do. Let's actually go plug in my air supply. So one second. Let's load up some uh, gray here. I'm just gonna make sure I shake up the bottle real good. What's up, Chris? How's it going? What's up, Trevor? Yo, 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 how's it going? Uh, yep. 
Get jaggy edges when you're using an X-Acto knife. Yeah, it happens, but you can always like soften them up with a little bit of freehand work. It's not a big deal. Sometimes it works out that way for a reason, you know? You just gotta, you just gotta think positive. Off. I need to stick on there tight. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. I was just, I was just praising it so much. That's wild. I've never seen something. Action. Let me show you if I could show you. Let's see. I uh, can't even see. Let me see if I could get you guys in closer. So you see on the side of the. See on the side right there? You see that little white line? There's air coming out of there. There's a crack there. When I push the button, there's air coming out of the side there. I've never actually seen one of these crack before. That's weird. Look at that. You can see it. You can see it right there. Beautiful. Well, not beautiful. I, I, what is that? Like, I didn't... It, that's wild. Well, I'm not going to use this airbrush. It's like a lot of air. A lot of air coming out of there. That's wild. Oh, I was, I was just praising it. I really like this airbrush too. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. You know what? So, so, yeah, the Cobra, dude, I don't know, nah, I'm like, I'm going to lost for words, I guess I'm going to look up the Eclipse, I'm going to have to order some parts. I mean, checking all my airbrushes now, like what? <laughs> oh, there we go. 
All right, we're just gonna start out with some gray. It happens. It's crazy. I just used the last stream and it worked just fine. I don't know. I really like that airbrush though, so I'm definitely going to order parts. Um, anyway, we're going to get going here. I'm going to start with these mountain sides. And uh, I just like to come in with some nice little mountains here. Uh, use a little bit of a stick here. Probably turn this pressure down. Yeah. Come on the other side, same thing. We kind of want just a nice dark edge, and we're going to just bring in some nice little texture going down. We do want it to go all the way down and touch on that edge there. Don't have to be super detailed with it because we're still going to come in with some black and uh, maybe some white highlights at the very end, but we just need to edge it out and make sure we get the actual shape in there. So make sure we fill in the whole area here. And then boom. All right, now I'm loading some black. I'm going to use the Sotar, which hasn't made a, an appearance in the channel in a while. <laughs> Should have went with the Creos. He wore that one thing out. He uses that one every day. Yeah, I do. I, but it's just, it's a workhorse airbrush. It sprays really good. It doesn't like... It's not all finicky, you know, it just, you put paint in, paint goes out, it gets really detailed lines, it, it works really good. I like that airbrush. It just has a good spray. Duct tape, it fixes everything. Cobra lost its strike. Oh yeah, that Cobra, it's shedding a skin, that's all it is, it's shedding some skin. But it'll get some new skin soon. <laughs> You know, that's all it is, you know, snakes, you know, sometimes they need some new skin. <laughs> all right, we got the, the Sotar loaded in. The Badger Sotar hasn't made an appearance on the channel in a while. I absolutely love this airbrush. For those, <laughs> I'll sell you mine. Not <laughs> uh, what's up, Andre? Is the name? How's it going? All right, so now we got the, the mountains in there. Now I'm actually gonna peel off the dragon. <laughs> I almost said the sky, but we're gonna start with this dragon. Silhouette of this dragon here. We're gonna peel that guy off. Man. We're just gonna hit that with the black real quick.
Yeah, the Creos airbrushes are pretty nice. I like my 289. I'll be getting more soon. And all we're gonna do is fill in that dragon right there. Damn. Simple. All right, so now, now we're gonna peel off all the sky and just leave the clouds in and the moon. And we're gonna peel off the sky. Which is a lot of times easier said than done, but once you get it going, and hopefully you did better cutting than I did. <laughs> Should be left with some clouds. And the moon. I'll just peel the rest of that off. Maybe I need to cut that. Simple. We're going to come in with the gray. I put my Mojo Rich Pen to work the other day. That may have to stay on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I still haven't tried the Mojo. this piece. So I'm just going to take a little piece of tape right here. Just need a tiny little loop. top of his staff to stay in place right there. There you go. All right, now we can start in with some gray. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to start in. And right from the bottom here, we're just going to lay in some nice gray. Uh, if we go over the mountains and the dragon a little bit, that's quite okay because we do want to maybe subdue those a little bit. If you, go, if you go over them a little bit and you fade them in with the gray, it's going to make them look like they're more farther away, right? So if you go over them just a little bit, not a lot, don't like completely cover them in gray, but just a light little mist, and that's really going to throw them into the back there. So. Cover this whole area with some nice gray. Nice and easy. Don't oversaturate the paper. Just nice and lightly. Just layer it in. All right. It's real easy to just get overzealous and just ah, I just want it all gray right away. But just layer it in nice and light. I'm gonna come in with some black. And we're just gonna kind of lay in a little bit of black. Just a little bit. Just kind of coming in off the top a little bit. Not too much. We just want to darken in the gray, but I don't want I don't want super black in the sky. You gotta learn to use your lightness, you know, your light little touch. Now at this point we can peel off the clouds. Just get rid of those. We won't need those. So you're left with some nice little cloud figures. Now obviously they're way bright, right? So we're gonna come in with gray. 
And you, you could just leave him like this if you want to. But I'm just going to come with some gray. And we're just going to kind of build in the cloud, the fluffiness of the cloud. And so just nice and light with your little strokes. Right. Maybe you want to use it to kind of bring in the edge there too of the cloud. And we're going to fade this design out, you know, to the sides. Maybe just give it a little smoky trail off to the edges there. It's kind of how, what you would do like on a motorcycle or something. If you're looking to do it that way. Right, and that way we can come back into some white and we can really kind of give the, the clouds a little highlight areas, right? So I'm just going to kind of come in this way. Smoke it out there, it's all right. It's a little freehand, that's all it is. Bam. Lightly, lightly is all I can hear when I paint things now. Yeah, yeah. Lightly, lightly. Not just one lightly, double lightly. You got to do it super light. <laughs> I would cut right through guaranteed. So you could always pre-cut this. You could use uh, like FBS gold mask. Like this. They sell it in different widths. You could use your plotter, cut it out on a plotter and then transfer it that way or you could cut it out by hand and then transfer it by hand fps gold mask does not stretch so it's not like vinyl or something like that where you try to peel it off one thing and it's going to kind of deform um it's kind of made out of like just a really stiff kind of paper so it holds its shape pretty good so if you want to do it that way you totally possibly can so right now we have the water peeled off and uh, obviously we have the moon, and I've left the moon in there. I've not peeled off the moon yet. We have the wizard all up in there still, right? The piece I just peeled off here, the big piece, we're gonna use this to start building in our waves. Are those Bob Ross happy clouds? Yeah, these are the Bob Ross happy little friend. Oh, you know, just keeping you company in the middle of the night, these clouds. you know, you could. You could talk to him, you look up, and might see some shapes. <laughs> anyway, look, pro tip here. We're going to lay this across. Let's see if we have our moon, and we want to build a reflection of the light of the moon going across our water. Right? But what I'm going to do is use this cutout, and we're going to kind of build the, the waves or the motion of the water using this cutout. I'm going to start in right about here. Just gonna do that. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space where that moon is. And come around on the other side. All right. Go down. So you have that middle area just still kind of light. And then you want to bury up how wide or how uh, how thick these waves are, right? So maybe that you see how that was pretty close. Maybe we go a little bit farther with this shade. And this is just setting the preliminary for the waves here. Of course, like always, we're going to come in with some freehand. Down. And then we put one down here. And if you get that line going across, that's quite okay. So sometimes it's fine. But actually, it's, it's just fine because we're going to build in the freehand around it. And you'll have to work around. So we, there we got the waves. Right, and that gives you a nice straight line. So now when you build your, your freehand waves, and you can build up your strokes, and you know that they're going straight because you have those, those other lines going there. So you just come in with the nice and gray. And again, you try to leave this nice area clear. For the reflection there. Bring in 
some waves, you know, just a nice little motion. Damn. Nothing too crazy. Right? We got that side built in. Now we're gonna match it in from the other side. coming in there and nothing too crazy then we can just fill it in on the other side if you want to use your shield you get yourself some more of those shadows you totally can just to make sure you get them nice and straight right? boom Instead of Jumbo Jamboree, I'm speechless. Wow, nice. Uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, this is your pre-Super Bowl show right now. <laughs> if you're into the Super Bowl, here, here's your pre-show. <laughs> all right, now we've got all the water in there, right? We could probably get a little more defined on this side, just to make sure we're good. Now all I'm going to do is just come in with the black really lightly. All right, and we're going to just hit it off this edge of the water at the very bottom here. And we're going to kind of fade it going up. Just off the bottom. We're not going to go around the wizard or nothing. The gray should be more than enough. We just want to leave it around the bottom. Obviously not where the highlight is, just very lightly, you know. Build it around. And you get one nice stroke, nice and close. All the way through that edge there. And the clip. Take this cliff off. Down. We could come in with the gray. And you could come in and make your ground however you want it to look. I might just come in with a little bit of the splatter tool here. And just make it a little bit texturized. Oh, that's way too much. Come on, give me some paint. There you go. out those, um, those blobs of paint like that. Mwah! Looks like rock. Look at that. Just get crazy with it a little bit, shave in. A different little style here. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna bring some shadowing off of the lizard here. Uh, I 
obviously right behind him. And we're gonna blend this into the wizard. So we might have a hard line at first, but we're gonna blend it in and it'll be okay. So let's keep moving here. We're gonna start with this rear arm. Remove that and the staff. We can remove the staff. Bam. Come in with the gray. And all we're gonna do is build layer by layer. With the farthest most layers obviously coming first. Build that rear arm. And come in, build the staff. Well, you can come in here and get really detailed and add some texture onto the staff. Or you could just kind of shade it in like it's round. And you can do a mixture of both. Just come in here. Yeah. I'm going to color in the belt just because it came off, so I'm just going to give him a dark belt. It's totally fine. <clears throat> and then we're going to start with uh, this backside I guess of his hair we want to leave his hair for last so we're going to try to keep the hair on there as best as we can hmm. what's up manic brush what's up Aaron Stratham how's it going Sapstrom um, I can't wait to do this it's a badass photo uh, you love the Encanto piece nice nice do you make and sell texture stencils? So I have, um, I do have a kit called the Texture Effects Kit, and it has a different, like, varied stencils in it. It includes, like, I think four different, yeah, four different stencils. So, yeah, we have one of those if you go on the mikesbrush.com. And again, uh, if you order more than 40 bucks right now, if you order yourself two stencils or more, uh, you get a free skull cap included with your order and no extra charge. All right, so I just did the, the back of the robe there. We're going to take off the bottom of the robe and we're just shading it in. Obviously, you can get as crazy with the cloth as you really want to. Like I said, I want it to be dark, so we're going to kind of bring this gray into the other gray. Give it a shadow around the bag and the hair. Bring it into the hair. Around. Bam. <clears throat> now we could uh, remove. We could start with this uh, top of the bag here. We're just going to fold this piece over. Make sure our items in the bag stay in place. That and the water one you make. Yeah, the water one's really useful sometimes. If you're looking for like a, a good texture, like just to create like little, like I've used it for so much stuff, like bone texture, skin texture and stuff. On the skull stencil number two, the texture stencil that comes with it, it's over there, um, that. That's probably the one I use more than anything. And then we're gonna start with these items here in the bag and we're just gonna peel them off piece by piece. We're gonna fill that in, just a nice little shadow, nothing too crazy. Going on to the next one here. So it's there. Make sure to hit that edge there. Then we can take off the entire bag. Make sure the hair stays behind. Boom. And all I'm using is gray right now, right? So Just nice and lightly. Move it in there. Now we can take off his hair once we've hit up that edge. 
Right, see his hair, he's black. Gonna hit the edge of the hat. Bring down the hair, just little strands of hair. Boom. We're gonna remove the top of the hat. Top of the hat, good morning to ya. We're gonna start the shade right, right around the bottom. Bring it around. And then we're just gonna shade the hat right down the middle. We're gonna leave it white on both sides, right? And we're just gonna bring a shade right down the middle like that. And then we're gonna bring wrinkles from the middle to the sides. And it gives your hat a nice little roundness effect. We'll take this off, the rest of the hat, the brim. And the same thing, we're just gonna shade from the brim going back, something like that. And then we can just bring some texture around. Simple. And then we're going to start here with the, the crystal ball. We're going to go ahead and remove the part of the staff that's inside the crystal ball. And hopefully you did a better job of cutting than I did. Boom. Then we're going to try to remove the hand and the fingers that you see without, without removing the rest of it. Just easier said than done for sure. <laughs> oh, they're wet. They're wet! See if I can peel it off right here. Yep. Well, I'm just gonna freehand that in. Hopefully, you do a better job of cutting than I did. And hopefully, you end up with something like this, where the hand is kind of white. And then all we're going to do is hit a shadow right on the edge of the, the thumb here. Bam. Now we can remove the rest of his arm. Bam. Again, we're just going to shade the arm kind of going down the middle. Bring it up to his thumb and around. Bring his palm, kind of holding the ball here. And his wrists. Bam. Then we can peel off the last piece here, which is his sleeve. And then we can shade the sleeve in. Just bring some nice wrinkles in. If you want to get pro, you can uh, print out multiple ones, right? And so if you want to come and say maybe you want to add a fog, you can cut out a cutout of the whole entire um, wizard here, and uh, you know you can give everything a fog kind of in the background. Actually, I'll I'll do it here in a sec. So I'm just gonna come in with some black. And we're going to give this shadow here, we're going to blend it in so you don't see this. And
with some nice little touches. Nothing too crazy. Now, if we want to, we can use some white. Like, well, actually, not if we want to. We are going to use some white. And we're just going to give it some quick little highlights. I didn't pre-mix any white yet. I thought I did. Uh, it's not open yet. There it is. Uh, uh, yep, there's a link. Link down below. So you can download this image if you want to try it at home. I'm just taking Createx opaque white right out of the bottle. And the water revolution. And I'm just gonna just build in some highlights. So I'm just gonna come in here. This area stay pretty bright as it is, so I can just probably bring a nice little streak right down the middle. the bar here. Um, not too crazy. We did a pretty good job of not like oversaturating anything so we don't really need that many highlights. But if you just want to blend some stuff in, give something like a nice little glow, you can. So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, See, I have it printed out here. I'm gonna just cut out the wizard so we can use it to give this kind of background just a little bit of a, a haze, like maybe a fog kind of set in. So let me give me one second, I'll cut it out. Boom. This guy all up, cut up here. Bam. So we have them all cut, right? We can put them right into place right there. Should get them just about 
right. Now, I don't want to hit it all the way around, right? I just wanted to hit it right there, just so it brings him just a little bit more to the front. And that's, that's it, that did it right there. That did it right there. Do you have to download the Imager app to find it? No, no, you shouldn't have to. If you do it on PC, it should just let you download it, no problem. Let's uh, twist you guys head on so you guys can see what you're looking at. And like I said, this is just a quick little demo. If you guys want to take more time and, and maybe use, you know, like the gold mask and like really stick it down or something. But this is a good exercise in layers because you can see that we started off by doing the back. We layered in the clouds, the mountains, we layered in the water. Then we had the layer of the, the rock here, and then we had the wizard. You know, and the dragon back there flying. The only thing maybe this, this design needed is maybe like a lighthouse right over here. Like with the light shining. I like lighthouses. So. But yeah. Thank you guys all for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, yeah. That's all I got for you guys this week. Uh, it's a good little exercise if you're just getting started. Um, yeah, you know, hopefully you guys can take what you learned in this video and use it for your other projects at home. So, have a good one, everybody. We'll see you guys next Sunday. We'll be live every Sunday. We're gonna come back and do one of these exercises every Sunday. Uh, they're probably gonna get slightly more complex as we go along, but as always, I like to keep it pretty simple so that you, you can follow along, do it at home and get great results. You don't have to try so hard. And even if you're not so great with the freehand, you can make yourself a nice little design at home. So everybody have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. And we'll see you guys next Sunday, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Later, later.